friends today we were painting a guitar. First we'll strip it from all the strings and knobs. Then uh, we will create a space that is clean where we can work. We will find a primer at the hardwood store. That's pretty cool. More details in description. Then we'll get a brush, nice and clean and flat. And we'll dig it into paint. And we'll apply the paint on the guitar. Um, this is really cool because we will not need to sand it. This paint will create a nice layer for us to work with and the paint will stick. We'll use a smaller brush to work around the little knobs. If you want you can tape them um, to protect like such a place as this. But I like to risk it and just take my time and work around it. I guess I'm too lazy to tape it. So first round looks a little weird, that's why we're applying second round. And here we have it. And then we wait until it's dry and then we apply the back. So give it a day to dry. Here's another example of things that you're supposed to tape off unless you're confident in your steady hand, which apparently I am. Or again, maybe too lazy to <laughs> tape it. Uh, so yeah, so here's the back, here's the final, that's been two days that it's dried. Uh, then we get a paint, I use acrylic paint, it's not the cheap acrylic paint, there's different brands I have, they're all pretty awesome. I'm gonna pick a prime color, it's a nice gold ochre or whatever. Yeah, we put it in, it's really nice and pretty. And then I'll add some white. Um, I would like, I will be like painting the whole guitar first with one prime color. A pico brush. That is, uh, I like to use synthetic brushes. They're nice and bouncy and soft and friendly. Easy to wash and no hairs are falling off. Then, uh, you know, mixing up the paint is a really fun time. It's like making a soup. You got all your ingredients, you mix it up perfect consistency, nice beautiful color, really enjoy this color, it's so soft and nice. Anyway, so then we're just gonna cover the guitar, it's the same technique as with the white paint, the primer, and take your time, make sure it's awesome and flat, and work around in the back, don't forget to give it time to dry, and here we have it. It's perfectly primed, back the front, and then I start uh, creating designs. So this one will be kind of a uh, two color, I guess, this design. Not super colorful as you would expect. I'm working with small brush. I like to take my time. I think small brushes are quite amazing because you think that. Um, you'll complete less work because it's small but the truth is you can control it better therefore if you move slower you move confident therefore I don't have to go back and I find that that you know speeds me up in case you're in a rush but that's just you know that's what I do painting the guitar it's uh, really fun um, I would like to tell you that this guitar is provided and given to me to paint by Caporelli Guitars and this guitar is pretty special because it was built um, it was built in Canada but it was influenced by Russian Luther to uh, commemorate the infamous Russian guitar Ural I don't know if you know much about it but back in the 70s um, there was not good materials available and the builders made it from whatever they could find like wood and telephone poles and like uh, old radio parts so this guitar is um, inspired by Ural and I'm happy to be working on it it is not um, anybody's just yet so there is a full creative freedom of wherever I want to paint, which is great, love that. 
And here we, we, we're done. We're done. Look, check this out. Um, now I will cover up the places where I don't want to apply varnish with a paper and I'll tape this piece because I don't want to put varnish on this part. And varnish is, uh, you can get it at the art store or hardware store, I guess. Spray it like, you know, far away, the descriptions on it. Make sure the place where you work is clean and ventilate it, don't breathe it in. And ta-da! Here's the guitar. It is complete. If you're about to paint your own guitar, I wish you all the best and have tons of fun. Don't forget that lots of things look not so good in the beginning, so just keep on working, be patient, and we'll turn out into something awesome. For sure.